Now began one of the most elaborate salvage operations ever carried out. It took three years to raise the Vasa clear of the seabed and move her to shallow water. Another two to shore up the damaged stern and make her watertight, ready for floating into dry dock. Miraculously, she was still in one piece. Throughout the move, her timbers had held. But now they were exposed and vulnerable. Once start to dry out and they would warp and crack, the hull would begin to disintegrate and a unique relic could still be lost. A constant stream of water was played over her. For the summer and autumn, she was safe. But when winter came, she would need an air-conditioned berth. For the archaeologists who swarmed aboard her, it was a race against time. 